In this video I'm going to show you how to catalogue a brand new resource in the system, so a book that hasn't already been entered into the system. So we log in as usual and we'll get this page here. So we want to go to cataloging to put in the new resource, so click here. And now we click on resources on the left hand side. So this is a list of all the resources already in the system, so we want to add a new one. So we go up to resources here on the right hand side and click new. This is going to bring up a pop-up window for us where we need to change the default setting. So the default setting here, as you can see, is monograph. This must be changed in book rental to book rental. Up the and then we click here and put in our ISBN. So the system has not found this book, so we will click on this link here so we can manually add this resource to enter the data manually. So, we have the title, and that's it there. Uh, the edition doesn't really matter, just put in one, you don't have to put anything in. And publisher, uh, we will do a search. All publishers should be in the system already. So we can just bring up this pop-up window by clicking on search. And we'll just search for Gilla Macmillan. So we click this red link here and we press save here on the left hand side. So the publisher is entered. The publication date is 2006. And again, we put in the ISBN. So that's put in. And now finally, we add subjects. This should be done because it's very useful if you want to check um, how much books a particular department has, for example. So if you were ordering certain books, you could just look up uh, German and see all the books they have and just see do you need to get books for them or could they use something else. So, we'll do subject search, SCVP, and it's here. So we click the red link, it's selected, and we press save. That's all the information we need, and we press save up here on the right-hand side. So, that's that resource added to the system. Now, if we want to add uh, numerous copies of this, we click on add copy, and I'll show how to do that in another video. So, that's simply how to add a new book to the system. It's very simple and quick.